We realize actually we're very similar. Yeah, I mean, we're just two Italian girls trying to make it, <laughs> trying to just make it by. <laughs> Bring cats. How's it going? Are you filming? Uh, we are now. We are rolling. So tell me, <laughs> how does it feel to be back and just to see everybody again? I think it's like, I don't know if you feel it, I feel like a little old today. Oh, uh, interesting. Like I, I saw Aislinn and I was like, I felt like a like old aunt. Like I was like, hello! Like why was I talking that? I like bent down also to greet her. Hello! <laughs> what am I going to do that for? <laughs> I'm not joking. <laughs> Well, you're but. also like an old aunt <laughs> by spirit. You're doing this, you're like, because then, then you take people into your bosom and just yeah, let them Yeah, like right here is where I back. feel <laughs> your soul sits, you know? Like, I feel like at four, you were an old aunt. Just yeah. sit there. Yes, yeah. it was. So now it's just, I can embrace it more, but... Um, well, I was feeling old, you know, so Luke said to me, he was just like, yeah, because your character came out in like 2008. Oh my God. And I was like, try 2002. Yeah, I was, I was like, 2008. Yeah, that does make me feel like you're older, yeah. so, than me. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> But, but it's you know. been like, it's been nice. It was really nice sitting on the couch with Shaney boy. Yeah, how's Shane? How was so it hanging good. out with I him? heard that he said in his interview before I came in the room, not prompted, mm. that his favorite girlfriend on the show was Jane. So I was feeling like pretty puffed okay. up. And I bet you, because after, you know, he goes ahead and marries Emma. I mean, honestly. Weren't you upset about that? Yes, I was. I thought it was strange because I understand that Jane cheated. I really do. But, but I don't buy. People make mistakes. People make errors. I didn't even think you should take her back, but I did not buy that suddenly you could erase the years and the cancer yeah. and the loss of testicle. And I'm not saying this lightly. This is what they've been through. Yeah, yeah. And, and you were there. Yes, and the shooting yeah. and the dad and the football. Oh, I'm talking geez. like they went through it. And then to just get married to someone else, I thought, I don't buy. I just don't buy it. I mean, because you were there pre and post everything. He needed to mourn it. That's all. Yeah. I'm not saying that Spinner couldn't move on. Yeah. I just think, and we, you know, we talk a lot about relationships. There's something yeah. to mourning the loss of a. Do you think he like? Do you think Spinner jumped and married Emma because he like still really loved you and just couldn't deal with the fact that you know? No, I think Spinner has like this unique quality to find love in a lot of people. That's why he's had some like big iconic relationships. True. I actually well, he's think had he's quite many. Many and long term. Like he's a <clears> serial <throat> dater. And he wants comfort and he wants ease. He wants the picket fence a little yeah. bit. And I think Emma could give that to him at that time and Jane could Well, I feel like someone like Spinner needs to be taken care of a little bit. Totally. You know? he said I think that Jane's Jane's good. got it. Jane's She's fine. good. Mama's got it. Yeah. Jane <laughs> reminds me a lot about you. Mama's got it. <laughs> Mama's got it. Well, now I've become more like Jane. At the time, I was like, oh my God, this girl's great, great. She's so good at everything and she's dealing with it and she's doing the singing and she's got the football. She's a valedictorian for Christ's okay. sake. I, I couldn't do that. I have to tell you, because of football, <laughs> knowing you, like we were just talking about how we went camping this weekend and no, you were no, like, you did a good job because leading up to it, you're like, oh, I don't know if I can camp. <laughs> you <laughs> ever like, to be clear, we went to a cottage. Camping implies pitching a tent. Oh, and okay, that you're right. So we went to the cottage. There was a home constructed right, so, that we got to rest in. So uh, my question then is, after going <laughs> to the cottage with you and you were skeptical about that experience, had you ever played football before exactly. Jane hit the field on camera? <laughs> hit the field. You know, hit Great that questions. field. Well, first of all, I think I sell that the cottage just as an aside, um, the I key think, bringing sangria like and water into the kayak and letting your pal kind of do the work for you. I mean, that is <laughs> Princess Rihanna treatment. Yes, yes. <laughs> So that was a great memory for me. The football, um, the training itself, not so much. So, like, did you train before? Yes, I did. The five days leading up to what it, do you I mean? did. Um, because so, like, did you like to learn the rules? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, I <laughs> also again two Italian girls talking about football right now. Continue. <laughs> like, we both don't know anything. Yeah. Because the table reads, I was explaining this earlier, table reads for Degrassi are like no other. You don't know what's coming next. Mm -hmm. You're surprised just like the audience would be. So you're reading it all out and you go, oh my God, James, oh, she's on the football team. I guess it's gonna be a storyline about how bad she is. No, no, in fact, it's her, the MVP on the she's male team. <laughs> oh, and everyone's like. She excels. <laughs> she excels. And then the thing oh, ends, guys. and there's like a sort of talk back after, and they're like, everyone looks at you and they're like, what do you think? And I'm like, oh, goody. And my chest is beet red. And I walk out and I call my dad immediately. I'm like, Dad, big T, we gotta get to the park and pronto. We have five days before but we go to camp. does your dad know to play football? I mean, he's he's an Italian man. Yeah, he could do basketball. a little bit of everything. He's a jack yeah, of all yeah. trades, yeah. that one. And he said, let's, Paula? You know, he gets into like, Brent Caddy's. Like, it's all about the last name. Like, Brent Caddy's can do it. No, they can't, Dad. I used to skip track and field day. But you are a Brent Caddy, you can. 
So God bless you and thank you for joining me on this journey. Take me to the park. Oh, I can't Papa even Pete. run. I can't even pick up my damn knees. That's how little, I don't even know how to run. Like I got called into another show I did called Dark Oracle to look at dailies and they said, there's a problem with your performance. I said, what? I'm not, I'm not kidding you. <laughs> what could it possibly be? I thought, oh my God, it's my face, it's my acting. And they said, <coughs> Uh, your running is so poor that the network just said we need to have one of the other actors chase you around so you can learn to run with urgency. And I was chased around the entire afternoon. So think about that. Think about that complex. Do you think they paid that actor a little extra overtime just to chase you? It was favorite nations, babe. I mean, it was just oh, was what God. it was. So then you You're got that. Me. And then I'm reading the storyline. I go, how in God's name is so this going to transpire? So my dad helped me with the running. Do you feel like you pulled it off on the day? Well, I did it with the help of an entire football team that helped me train. And Tony and an Brancati editor. helped me do, yeah, it was edited together beautifully. I had a wonderful stunt double who did the wide shots. I couldn't even run to save my life. I did all the close-ups. I was very adamant about performing it all. Of course, because the emotion and intent is still there. It's just the physical well, aspect was challenging. At the end of the day, I could totally get the fire of like being told you can't do something because you're a girl. I, I told I, the storyline and the spirit well, that, of it. That was yeah. Crazy, uh, <clears throat> crazy relatable. But uh, yes, I worried that I wouldn't be able to pull it off. In fact, that ended up being something. This is the thing I'm the most but proud it was of. Quite, really. Yeah, it was great. Oh, and, it, and it, Ella Rolando was believable. so good. She directed it, and we watched Friday Night Lights. She gave me Friday Night oh, Lights for the show. weekend and said great you have show. to watch all of it front to back. Q1. And I said, how do we have time? No, Saracen. Yeah. I'm more Saracen than a Regan's. Um, Saracen is so like. It's um, because you love that he loved his grandmother. Exactly, the nun nothing. Yeah, yeah. I know you know what I'm talking about. Um, Taylor Kish, you know, I saw him in California. I was outside a hotel, and all of a sudden, this guy pulls up in a motorcycle and takes off his helmet and throws his hair, and I was like, please. You know what I mean? Like, come on. You're like, that can't be real. Darling, sit down. And right when I was, was about to, like, kind of really say that, like, wow, I turned and I was like, Taylor Kitchen, and I was like, Scoozy. <laughs> Scoozy. Well, what a little twist I, in my happy. little vacation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know you went Italian and I started doing some other things. Well, I spent the whole time going up to the rooftop pool in that hotel, like perfectly put together. He was staying at your hotel. Yeah, well, I, I didn't to, see him again, so he was probably visiting someone. Do you know he also like builds things? I heard that. Like what? Like homes, like his own oh, home and shit I, like well, that. Well, that's what he does in Friday Night Lights. He says, my dream, and he pops know. the beer and says, I want to, spoiler alert. I know I was going to say, a way to end the entire show. Okay, we digress. <laughs> Final frame. So, okay. Jane, because you had mentioned for a second there that you like crazy relatable about Jane excelling in a predominantly male sport, mm -hmm. naturally, in a really kind of alpha male sport. Yeah. And she kicked ass. And then what happens? Like there's some repercussions there. Yeah, she was, well, she was the MVP also on the male team. I, I think that happened later. But there were a couple of guys, though she was not warmly received by anyone really, a couple really were, um, were awful to her, like just incredibly threatened. Um, Mark Donato's character yeah. was like, antagonizing her and then he kind of spearheaded this like this movement to beat her up like they were she you know did well at a practice and I and just can't get my head around that why would was, a group of guys it was really, want to beat up a girl it was kind of gross it sort of happened in this sort of like like the, the principal says to her in this scene in the locker room like do you know what just happened out there like it's it's a really great short scene where basically she's just been beat up and she's explaining to them like this just happened, what are you gonna do about it? And he says, well, boys will be boys. And if you wanna be one of ours, no special treatment. And it's such a... So, yeah, what do you think the show was <clears throat> trying to say about that kind of mentality? I think it was, it's not that it was ahead of its time because that's a statement that we've heard for years. I think women have heard that in many incarnations in every walk of life and every job. I think it's, a, it's really um, of right now, certainly in this city, I feel like in Toronto it's a really exciting time to be a woman. Mm -hmm in charge or, or sort of speaking your voice. I feel very supported um, here, but I think Jane was sort of like kind of ahead of her time, speaking up yeah. and still choosing to be on the team. I mean, very, very even brave. after that happened, she's like, no, I'm still doing She this. stayed, like the last frame yeah, of the yeah. show is her taking a knee with them mm -hmm. and then every a couple of the players, you know, join her. Cause Which I think- Which is like, I think such an important moment because you can't be afraid from it, you know? I mean, but because it's- said than done, No, but yeah. like, you can right. actually be afraid from it because it is frightening. Yeah. But to set that, say that statement like, you know. She was like a feminist without, you know, I don't even think that was her intention, yeah. but she ended up being like this symbol, I think, for feminism. And it was, it's like rare, to, it's like such a young character. Mm -hmm. I don't think we always see characters, um, you know, 17 year old girls on Have television that having that strength. It was well, really inspiring. I was talking to this with Aislinn about, you know, like, is there like a voice that Degrassi gives young women specifically? I think so. 
I think so. I think that they've given, I think without even knowing it, doing those kinds of storylines gave me a voice later. Like, I always felt like Jane was very ahead of me. Like, I always felt like I couldn't keep up. I was like, oh my god, like, the, she really is sort of this heroine. But she's not doing it for anyone else. And I think a lot of the characters that have had challenging um, storylines, Aislinn's character is a great example of that too, they're sort of figuring it out in their own way. It's not always linear. Like, I think Jane's an example of someone who, like, chose to... But, but some... You can't always deal with anything, yeah. everything head on, and, right? And, and, and also characters make mistakes. I People love make that mistakes, it's human. And she makes a mistake, you know? She has that affair and... I co- love calling it, it an affair is so salacious. Sexy. But she, it, it does cost it her... It costs her. It costs her her great love. Like, yeah. And I also love that they went there. They were like, this yeah. girl's been a hero, but she's very human. It was yeah, sort of not the traditional perfect. heroine, yeah. yeah. And, and that she kind of is unapologetic, like it goes untalked about. Mm-hmm. She ends it, because Holly J catches her, and the rest of the season goes by, and in a very sort of undergrassy fashion, it's not glorified or exploited. It's left sort of like, oh, I guess they're never going to touch yeah, it Yeah, or it's not like, don't do this. You know, here's the big lesson. It. It's like, this happens, yeah. people make mistakes, and then, you know, I guess you see the consequences of that mistake with her and Spinner. Yeah, and also that she was okay. It was interesting to see a character who was like had reconciled themselves with the fact yeah. that like the truth would hurt him more, and she really did love him. So like I won't say anything. Yeah. And then getting caught, it's like you're too far gone, and you sometimes forgiveness is impossible. So I don't. I was trying to figure this out earlier. I was talking it out. Like why did myself and the actors in Janie and the Students decide to rehearse on weekends? I'm not sure because we were not really playing on it. Like I was really singing, but. We were, you know, it was a television show, but we were like... <laughs> it was. <laughs> and we were all like, let's just get together at Ray's basement and like... Sing. Because you guys just did it on your own time. <laughs> As well. Yeah, I don't quite know what we were playing. So like, it. you just had a good time on set. We love like, each other. You, yeah. yeah, you were just like, let's but just go rehearse over the weekend. But then we kind of decided that we were going to play for the rap party. Again, decided. No one asked us. It was like, <laughs> we're going to do this. And <laughs> we're going to do it, damn it, for real. And we're going to sing all three and a half songs that we sang on the show and uh, maybe a couple covers. And Aubrey had just become Drake. Like in that best I ever had was like the song of the summer. It was my final season. So I thought, let's really <laughs> this would go out with a bang. <laughs> Deuces. Hear that. And I'm gone. So all the guys were like, yes, this is such a great idea. I'm like, let's do Best I Ever Had and we'll all sing it together. Like, no. what a beautiful year. Because I wasn't at this rap party. I thought you were, and then no, I realized you weren't. I wasn't. You certainly weren't there for the set, because uh, I think you would have remembered. I mean, of course I would have remembered this. When you were reciting it, I was like, I have no memory. I, I wasn't there. This, was, that this way. was for nine, right? This was for nine. Yeah, and so it was the end. There. I was wearing an outfit from the show. Jane, at, out of her, I should have gotten Not the camo. hair and makeup, though. <laughs> Not Jane's circa dreadlocks, it was Jane cleavage glitter top. Like okay. she'd really gone through her affair and she was trying so, to... how did that performance, like how did well, it go? Did people like it? These, I believe that they did. These <laughs> schmucks, I was going to say these dicks, like the guys, left me out to dry. I'm trying to come up with an analogy that really represents it, but they said they were going to sing with me when we got to the part like... Um, referee, because that'd be so official. My shirt ain't got no stripes, but I'm a makeup whistle nothing crickets in fact the drums drop out linda schuyler's right there steven stone's right there everyone we know is there so you just essentially said and then i go like the and then i kept going you the ambassador and they're all gone it's just, i know you're gonna be real time it was oh but, it, but that point, when you're already it's like i'm already cut off at the knees at that point just drown yourself like it was over anyways and then this i just like, that's like I'm this. talking, and then I said, and good night. And I also called them all out. Like I was like, thank you so much for that. I like that you committed, though. Yes, I'm not gonna. You, you know what? did That's it. What you life committed. Is about. That if anything, is. This shows you had the us. confidence of Jane in that scenario. You went back Jane down went, and you bowed on your knee. For I that said, moment. I'm gonna just go down in flames if need yeah, be. I and it. Uh, but no, but also <laughs> pain smiles hero. in the audience. You're my hero. A lot of this. All the agents are like, oh yeah. It started turning into a Jane frown. Like everyone was like. You know what she does? Not? She's always like, I, that's me, who played Jane, me. would do that, but it would be like De Niro all the time. I've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is! This is a killer, killer <laughs> moment that I'm so heartbroken I wasn't I'm a part sh- I'm sorry, I'm sure somebody's got it on one of those phones. But I, you just made me laugh all over this guy. <laughs> I'm just been, like, I'm chucking sorry. my body. Like, I'm a big Italian laugher. Me too. Bring cats. I love you. I love you, you my favorite. Dogs. Thank you for filling me in on all this joy and just for being my favorite Italian ass. I love you. Bedicio. Beautiful. Ti voglio bene. Tanto, tanto. <laughs>